Well, here we are again. It's great to be back at Tech Quarters TV. Uh, we've been lucky enough to get one of my close friends uh, in a very, very uh, special arena that uh, we've got along to Tech Quarters today. So I'd like to say welcome to Michael Vermeersh. Okay. Hi, Michael. Thank you. Great to see you again. Now, Michael is actually the digital inclusion lead for Microsoft. Uh, that's a big job. Uh, what does that entail, Michael? Uh, well, um, I, I probably, apart from if, if anybody know uh, Hector Minto, I probably have, I think I got the coolest job at Microsoft. Uh, so, um, and the way that I kind of created a job thinking of the following, um, we have our mission statement as Microsoft, which is to empower every person, mm -hmm. every organization on the planet to achieve more. And, and the key, key word here in that statement, I feel, is every every person and that not and that means not 50 percent of the population that means not 80 percent of the population mm. that means 100 percent of the population nice. and that includes people with disabilities and on that sense uh if you then look slightly further i mean we've gone through this journey of digital transformation everybody wants to go digital transformation mm. then when i started looking at when is digital transformation a success what does that actually mean mm. And what I've seen there is that the key factor where it, it, you're, you're either successful or you fail is, is whether you focus on people or not. Mm -hmm. so, I, mm. uh, so it was my uh, view then that if you want digital transformation to be really successful, you need to get digital inclusion first right. Okay. And, and that's how I kind of said, right, that's somewhere I want to go to and, and figure that one out. And that's how ultimately the role got created. And I mean, you've been in this arena now for, you know, years, haven't you? You know, and uh, you've risen, risen, and now you are the almost spokesperson, I suppose, for Microsoft UK in this area, which is it's great to have you there. Uh, I understand that you've just recently uh, volunteered for Guide Dogs. Can you tell me a little bit about that? It must be quite inspiring and uh, working with these little puppies at home well, and all that. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 great, but it was. Uh, I mean, it was it was kind of it. It falls very well with uh, my learning journey. Um, I mean, I, I I feel that if you want to do something right, it's best to immerse yourself. Yeah. And and in that sense, uh, you know, uh, I wanted to learn about more about deaf awareness, so I did mm -hmm. that training course on on sign language and mm -hmm. and, and and got myself. Don't need to a, a certain level certified on that, but I think it's kind of key to understand if you really want to talk about disability inclusion to really understand what mm. it is about and things like that. And the same thing with the the, the guide dog puppy. Uh, my dog died uh, beginning this year, and there was that kind of gap, and I was like, mm. Mm, "What do I do?" Mm. And then I said, "Well, this is another aspect I still know very little about." Mm. Okay. Uh, so. There was an opportunity filling that gap, but at the same time, a learning and at the same time, making a, a difference. So it was kind of a win-win combination. But very rapidly, you kind of learn like you're not, get a pet. You're not getting a pet. No, of uh, course. Yeah, four-legged, uh, almost like a baby, you know, yeah, to look yeah, after. Absolutely. Now, how long are you looking after the guy and dog? So I think it's roughly going to be 14 months, 24-7. Uh, oh, okay. mm. they, they can get boarded if you mm. take leave. Mm. Um, but yes, it's full time uh, and that's and training from the day one. Uh, so because you actually, yeah. it's not a pet, you're training up a working dog from, yeah, from day one. Of course, that sounds great actually. You know, what a pastime. Uh, clearly, Michael's <laughs> one of the favorite people in the whole of IT and just fun and super caring. So I think what we need to do though now is get into technology and how that has influenced you, you know, people with a disability and probably Microsoft 365. So we'll talk to you about that in the next episode. Cheers. Mm -hmm.